Hey guys, happy go lucky here, back for another question of the day. Today we're looking at equivalent fractions and reciprocals. The questions come from 2020 specimen paper, IGCSE, paper one, and the questions are as follows. Part A, write down a fraction which is equivalent to three fifths. Part B, write down the reciprocal of seven. So it's investigating those keywords and making sure we get those right. Press pause, have a go at the question, and I'll be back with the work solutions in five, four, three, Two. Okay guys, back with the work solutions. The first question then, write down a fraction which is equivalent to three-fifths. Well, it's already in a fraction, three-fifths, that's fine, don't worry about that. And we want something equivalent. So the first part of the word equi means equal. So basically, we want a fraction that's already equal to three-fifths. The easiest way to work around that is to multiply top and bottom by any number you like. So simplifying is when you get things smaller and more simple. Equivalent is as long as it's equal, you're OK. And the only way it's going to be equal is by multiplying top and bottom by the same number. You can choose any number you like as long as it's the same. So I'm going to go for six. No idea why. And that equals, well, 3 multiplied by 6 is 18, and 5 multiplied by 6 is 30. So 18 thirtieths is equivalent to 3 fifths. So that's one example of many infinite possibilities. Multiply top and bottom by the same number to get an equivalent fraction. Part B, write down the reciprocal of 7. A lot of students say to me, oh, I can't remember what reciprocal means. So this is quite an important one. If you tell your partner, I love you, you expect those to reciprocate and return the favor and say, I love you too. So to the reciprocal of something is to get back to where you started. It's asking, what do we have to do to seven to get back to one? So seven multiplied by something equals one. In other words, seven watts give us one. There's a formula you can use for reciprocals that will help you remember the reciprocal of any number, n, is 1 over n. So for example, the reciprocal of 10 would be 1 tenth. And the reason that works is because 10 multiplied by a tenth would take you back to 1. So the reciprocal of any number is 1 over that number. So the reciprocal of 7 would be 1 seventh. That's the reciprocal. And likewise, the reciprocal of any fraction let's say 1 over 5, the reciprocal of that would just be 5, because 1 fifth of 5 equals 1. So you're asking yourself, what do we have to do to get to 1? And while we're here, the reciprocal of any fraction that hasn't got 1 in it, so let's say 2 thirds, the reciprocal of 2 thirds, you just flip the fraction on its head. So it would be 3 halves, 3 over 2. And that's because when you multiply those together, you get, you guessed it, 1. So the reciprocal is what you have to multiply any number by to get back to one. So that should help you remember that. And there are your two number problems for today. I've been happy-go-lucky and you've been doing some number worded problems. So hopefully you've learned something from that. Good for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.